Hello everyone, my name is Young Falcon, and I wanted to do a quick look at this game called Lanternauts, a hero shooter that's in VR, all for 6v6, 9 specialists that are playable, and the most important feature, cross-play and cross-buy between the Oculus and Steam platforms. So yeah, there's a lot to like about this game. Impulse Cure, the developers behind this title, have done a really good job bringing and translating the hero shooter gameplay over to the VR landscape, and with their new update Heist, they have a lot of stuff going on that I think is pretty appealing, and for the $20 buy-in price tag, I'm hoping I could put some people on and get more people to play the game because it is really incredible surprisingly. The number one thing that's very important to me is having flexibility when it comes to player settings and I think Lanternauts does an incredible job of allowing me to really express myself and find gameplay styles that work for me. Uh, when it comes to reloading systems, you have the automatic reload, which reloads once you run out of ammo. You have a manual button reload where you press a button and it does a stylish flip or something depending on your gun. And you have manual reload, which allows you to pull the ammo from your pouch, reload the gun, cock it back, and all of that good stuff. That and a slew of comfort options go a long way in making the game feel tailored to what I expect out of VR FPSs. Now, since this is a hero shooter, I don't mind the stylish auto reloads, although I do love the manual reload system in this game, but in the heat of battle and how crazy things can get in a 6v6 hero shooter with all of the abilities and stuff flying around, it's okay to use the auto slash manual button reload if you want to. Although the manual regular reloading with the chamber slidebacks and all that are fun to mess around with too, just don't get too competitive with it if you get shot out because you can't do it fast enough. As for game modes, they're also quite flexible. There's the typical team deathmatch where you just frag out with a bunch of friends and kind of get used to how characters maneuver and things of that nature. There's the whole three points domination mode where it's a little bit more objective based, skill based, still a lot of frags, but you have to kind of think about strategically when and what points you want to grab. And then of course we have capture the flag where you sprint around capturing the flag. Movement based heroes are gonna have a field day with this one as they can use their abilities, swipe that flag up and do a bunch of crazy movement things. And in VR, it really does feel like a breakneck like race to the finish, essentially. It's, it's really fun. And then finally, the heist mode, which is super fun. It's just a payload push, and it really feels like that 6v6 hero shooter that you kind of pulled up for. The only downside with this game that I've noticed so far is the fact that I can't just choose a mode to search for when I'm playing this game. You have to either search all game modes or private lobbies and bots and trading and stuff. It's not really exactly ideal. Now, I'm not going to knock the devs for that and ask for that feature because I understand VR games, especially when it comes to player accounts, are never as massive. So having an option to just search for these things would be very difficult to do. And you may not even find the match just due to the way those types of games are built. However, it would be nice if the game does end up getting a bit more popular, and I really hope it does, that modes like that can be added down the road. But of course, the modes and etc. don't really mean much unless the gameplay and the specialists behind that gameplay are fun. And thankfully, I had a lot of fun playing all the various specialists in this game. The ones I stuck with were the movement-based ones, because that's what I love in hero shooters. So Kalima, who was this character who could kind of dash around at high speeds, kind of like Tracer, she could run around with two machine guns if she wants, or just hold a machine pistol and a shotgun combo, and that's a ton of fun to mess around with. There's also an overcharge ability for each weapon, so you could power them up and either do like fire over time rounds, or you could just do a giant charge shotgun blast and like destroy, decimate opponents in your path. It's super fun. And then for the other character I played, it was Arc L6. This guy kind of has a burst machine gun rifle. He also has a plasma tracking round, which is kind of fun to mess around with. And his movement option is sliding around like on his knees kind of Titanfall style and things like that. So I had a lot of fun messing around with all the various movement and you could slide during a slide, like switch directions. That was super fun and nutty, especially in VR. So had a blast playing him. And the movement overall for each character, even if they don't have mobility options, is pretty good stuff. Everyone has a grappling hook to reach higher places. So you could pull up and get some sniping angles if you're playing a sniper class, which there are a couple of recon characters. There's a ton of healers that are pretty fun to mess around with as they can either shoot a dart or shoot a bow and arrow whatever and heal people from afar every specialist has their own ability and it's a blast to mess around with all of them and figure out which character suits you and of course the team-based element and community is a huge part of these types of games i could say with full confidence and especially in the vr space everyone's pretty chill anyways the community for lanternauts was pretty chill i didn't have run into any like people that were rude or obnoxious they didn't run into many kids and if there were kids they're actually pretty respectful and nice so you know it's a pretty chill community from the matches I played, all the people were very respectful, helped me learn about the game, and taught me some more advanced techniques that go a long way in making it just a fun, 
easygoing experience, so shoutouts to them. As for the game itself and the map designs, yeah, they're great. There's tons of maps that have a lot of verticality. There's some that are just completely kind of flatland, and that's okay because it's built for certain specialists to be used in certain maps and things of that nature. And the overall gunplay and the variety and uniqueness of each weapon and loadouts you get for each character all are really cool to mess around with. So yeah, just wanted to get my quick thoughts out on Lancer Knots as I think VR hero shooters are something that's really interesting of a concept to take on and they did a really great job with it. It just feels super fun to play. I'm glad they don't cut off movement options or abilities and things that people might not be used to in terms of moving around in the VR space and there's just a lot of things about it that are to love and again for the $20 tag I really hope it's a buy in enough entry for people to give it a shot. If you are a fan of games like Paladins or Overwatch or things of that nature and you want a vr spin on that this is definitely the game to pick up and i'm just trying to get the word out there so more people can check it out all right that's going to do it for today's video thank you all for watching just a quick little talk about lancer and i'll hope you enjoyed this quick look and i wish you all the best be safe out there and i'll see you guys next time peace